Okay, guys, this is a um, cash flow analysis that's very simple. It's not complicated like a multifamily or a commercial. It's just purely for residential, and it's really good and quick for letting you figure out the price that you can actually offer um, a seller when you are looking at a deal. So I want to run through it. So say a seller is asking, I want to round these figures off $100,000 and the rent on the property is you know eleven hundred dollars you found that from your conversation it needs about two thousand dollars in repairs you know of only filling all these yellows by the way um, don't touch the rest it automatically does everything for you um you know vacancy over the year is usually about eight percent sometimes it can be 11 but we can adjust that um Property money. We also can sell the sell the deal at this underwriting standard. So usually the total expense is around the 40%. So if you know you're around 40, that's fine. If you're down in 30, 35, then you know you're too low. Um, but on average, 40% is usually about the right number of as far as expenses go. These expenses here. Um, so you know taxes. You can just put that number in if you know it from the seller. Any insurance costs that you know, just put that in. And then basically, it should the expenses should be around 43, 40, 45%. That's what you're looking at. So then you get the net cash flow. Um, so that'll give you the figure there. And that's without any financing. So this is for a cash deal. Um, so there's no finance involved with this. Um, you know, then the desired return, the minimum we can do is 10%. You know, we try, I want you to try and get it at 15% if you can. And then we can pass it on to, to the end buyer at 12% and make the 3% in the middle. Um, so, you know, obviously you can change this and make that 15%. And when you do everything jumps down, all the figures jump down. But as a good rule of thumb, if you go in at 10, you kind of know for a fact that, you know, you're going to, we're going to do okay if we can give 10 percent to a seller in this market we, we uh, to a cash buyer we're we'll doing okay so then you know that's the maximum price of the property after repairs you know you subtract with the repairs subtract the closing costs and subtract our fee you know we want a minimum of five thousand dollars on any deal if we can't get that then the deal's off and we just don't bother doing it or we can't get it under contract and we renegotiate so then what you know is it gives you this spits these figures out that the maximum allowable offer that you can give to the seller um is 65 you know 65 985 um, 60 times rent and then you can go back to the investor and say this is the selling price to them so we get it under contract for that number and we assign the contract for five thousand dollars at that number um, so that's really the simplest way of analyzing a, um, a cash flow deal um, so I just use that on everything and this is the thing you'll be using probably most of the time just to evaluate these deals um, there'll be some are that you'll be doing on equity as well um, and we'll just go from there. <coughs> okay, thank you.